Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to be working on transparency in Adobe Photoshop 7.0. Um, this is going to be the avatar that I'll be working with. I used this one in my site tutorial, so I will just use the second one, I mean the same one. As you can see, I have layer 1 in the layers window, which is over here. Um, to make this transparent, I'm going to m make the transparent area a heart. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Seeing how I don't want it to ruin my first image, I will be creating a new layer with this button. And it automatically names it layer 2. Now I'm also going to zoom in with the zoom in button. Um, it gives you the Mine is automatically selected on zoom in. Um, yours may be on zoom out, so you might want to check that. I'm going to click it about three times, which gives me 400%. Um, seeing how I'll make this a heart, I'm going to be using the rectangle tool, but I will go down to custom shape tool. So now this should turn out like this. Um, the bar up here should have became this. This is the shape that will show up. You can also get a bunch of shapes through this. Um, I will be using, I believe, shapes. If um, It's not going to just erase them. It makes it so that it just loads those shapes. And here is the heart tool. Uh, the color does not matter for this. If you hold the shift key down though, it will stay like if it w like if you want to make a square, it would make it a square rather than a rectangle. Now you can move this around with the move tool. You will notice there's bounding boxes. If you do not see these, there is a little thing here. Notice now they're gone. Now they're back. You can move it around if you want, but I'll put my heart about right here. Now, I'm going to click the marquee tool, but if you go over to layer and hold down the control key, click this layer, you'll notice that it is now highlighted in a sense. Now I'm not keeping this red heart, but I'm going to click layer 1 and hit the delete button. You should notice now that that is gone, and I can get rid of this. Now that area is gone, and you just see this. But I will deselect by clicking off the heart. Now if I go to File, Save for Web. When you click Save for Web, which is what I usually use, because it gives you a preview of your image, and it also gives you all these settings which you cannot find if you just go to normal save as. Um, you have to have it for transparency on one of these. JPEG won't work and neither will PNG. Um, PNG gives you this white area which it will show up exactly like that on your screen so it's not transparent and it just looks kinda stupid. Um, PNG, I realize, gives you these checkers, which is what you, which shows transparency. The problem is, is in most browsers, it does not show up with that. It gives you a gray background, or a bluish gray background. So, I like to keep it on this one, which is probably the best, well, the highest quality you can get out of a GIF image. And your settings just have to look like this. You really shouldn't have to edit anything. And I would suggest always having it on no dither. And then you just hit the save button and it sh and upload it to the net and it should be a transparent background. That's how you do transparency. You need this the area that you want transparent not to have any background whatsoever. And when it's done should look like this. Only on this one I added stroke effect. So
So that is transparency. And I hope this tutorial helped you guys 